And let's talk about a good subject that I know, distance running. Yesterday I saw the Prefontaine Classic, and um, I gotta say, I was impressed with a lot of things. Uh, I wanted to start out with the men's 800, though. Good race, though. I think it was um, one of the guys from Kenya won, like, a uh, meet record 143.4, something like that. Ridiculous fast times. And then American Nick Simmons got in third, he ran like a 144 or so. And he's, he's actually my favorite to win uh, the trials, though, in the next couple of weeks or so. And I would have him, I would have Kadivas Robinson, and then um, probably Andrew Reading, if he is running the 800. But again, good, uh, I like what I saw, good stuff. It's just, again, this early part of the stage, though, uh, usually these guys, these athletes, they're taking uh, those races as uh, just, just a one of the most training workouts, certain workouts. Uh, speaking of Andrew Wheaton, though, he did perform all right in the, uh, the uh, Bowerman mile, though. I think he uh, ran, like, 356, though. But I, I, I could see that he didn't really, like, push out hard enough, though. And that's fine, though, because I still think, though, he's going to make the team in the 1500, though. The 1500 is pretty stacked. I mean, you've got Lopez Lamont, Leo Manzano, I thought Legat was going to run the 1500, but he's actually running the 5K, only the 5K. Um, and then, uh, who else? Who else? Who else is the top, top dog in the 15? Oh, Matt, Matthew Central. So, yeah, again, uh, promising year for uh, American distance running. And uh, I hope, I hope someone can medal in those things, because, you know, besides Legat, or besides Med, who's going to be in the marathon, or Abdi, I mean, just guys who were born here, raised here, and been here all their lives, though, you know, come on, man, like, when was the last guy to win the, who was born in the United States to win a, a medal in the Olympics, I mean, I'm, I don't know, like, for some reason, I'm thinking, uh, Frank Shorter, though, 1972 uh, Olympic marathon in Munich though he won gold. But was there a uh, another American after that though? Hey, you for you running geeks out there, please please let me know though because uh, I just uh, I'm not I'm not by computer so this is kind of just like off the top of my head. But again, just let me know about it. Um, yeah, it's just the 2012. I think it's going to be a good year for us. You know, sprinting. We got a well. We got a challenge though with Jamaica, but uh, hopefully, hopefully we can pull that off though and get our medals, our gold medals that we uh, that we deserve. And uh, yeah, I just uh, for middle and long distance, I hope, I really hope we do well though. It's gonna be tough though. The Kenyans, Africans, and certain other guys around that part of the world, they're gonna. <laughs> Oh yeah, they're gonna be, uh, they're ready though. They're gonna compete at the highest level, and we need to be there with them though. So again, I like what I'm seeing so far. Can't wait. I know next week is uh, meeting New York, and I think after that it's the uh, the trials, or you know a little bit after that, and then the Olympics. So it's a good summer for track and field though. And uh, since yesterday, watching the pre classic, uh, it's. Um, I like what I'm seeing. I like it a lot. And I'm sorry out there for the for the females. I it's just I, I I don't really watch it them too much. I I try to though, but um, they're kind of in the same with us. So again, I'm I'm not trying to be all sexist and stuff, but it's just I've been mo mostly focused on what the guys are doing though. Uh, I should maybe in a few more days or so, in a couple of weeks, maybe, maybe a little longer, maybe a little less, I'll put a video up of how the females are going to do though, alright, I promise, I promise, alright, so yeah, that's my intake so far, I'm running, and uh, looking pretty good, looking very good.